So what are we modifying? This right here. Oh uh, yeah, so we you just stick a type 3 board? So we're gonna take and put a header pin in there. I don't have one with me. I need to grab one. This is a type 3 board. This right here. The last one that you get? Yeah, this is actually a bad one, but... <laughs> <laughs> they do come bad. So desoldering the ECU is like 20 of them or something? Do, we're, we're actually connected now to the board so what we can do we can go in and uh, we're going to open up just a stock base image open that up and then we're going to since we're connected we're going to just sync the information over which basically means we're going to read the ECU make sure it matches the stuff that's on here um, synchronize that and I like to change at least one value to make sure that the settings will take effect so I usually come down and like open up the rev limit and our rev limit right now is 6875. What I'll do is we can bump that up to say, or just you know change it to say, uh, we'll do 6900. Okay. So as part of the tuning, um, this is some of the things they'll play with, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He'll yeah. play with many things. All all these things over here are the different maps. You have all kinds of different things. You have you know fuel maps and timing maps and fuel load values and timing load values and um, you know RPM limits, speed limits, all kinds of different limits and. Um, basically, I've changed this to 6900. You hit apply, go over, and you can write this information to the ECU. So we're writing this to the Nistune board. Once we write it to the Nistune board to make sure that it's burnt there permanently, you go burn back, your save. Go back and check it. And yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to you know disconnect. We're going to cycle the key on, key off. So we're going to go ahead and connect again. And what I'm going to do is open up another base image. A base image is just basically like a, a stock, completely stock map. And we're looking at 6875. If our information went to the board and was saved correctly, whenever we sync that information back over or read it from the ECU, it should say 6900 when it's done. What's we just changed it to? Yep, we just changed it to 6900 right there. So that confirms to me that the board is writable and that we'll save the information and we can reconnect and pull that information back off. So it's a real-time tunable ECU. Yeah. You're set, man. So where are we at? We at Autobahn. That's right. ABP. It's filthy. Where Excuse can you find? Us. Where can you find more information at? <laughs> you can go to uh, uh, more information about Nistune. Just go to nistune.com, or if you want to give me a call, you can go to my website at sales at autobahnperformance.com. That's on my website, or just autobahnperformance.com, and you can look at the contact us tab. Give me a call. We'll help you out. Good deal. Thanks, sir. The famous 4x4 LE doing the initial tune. Sitting at the Johnny K pad. I probably will start pretty well.